Okay, so in today's video we're going to be looking at a soldering station. This is one of those T12 soldering stations from Banggood. It's the KSGER 2.1 something. And we're going to do a review. This is how the package arrived. So, a little, not that much packaging, but we'll see if everything inside is still working. So I ordered the station along with some other goodies. So I ordered a spare tip right here. Uh, this is some solder that I ordered, very thin stuff. And this is the uh, soldering cleaner that I ordered. Um, yeah, so I got a lot of stuff with it. Um, I already have a soldering stand from another soldering station that I had. Or not soldering station. This is actually my first soldering station. Uh, I'm coming from one of those, you know, uh, soldering irons that you just plug straight into the wall. And it worked for just getting into electronics, but now I want something a little bit more serious. So look at that. It is smaller than I originally thought it would be, which is good because it will fit on my desk easier. There is the power connector, the IEC standard one. Here's a fuse on and off switch. Um, got the knob right here. This is a rotary encoder sort of thing. Nice and clicky. Um, feels like a high quality unit. And here is the soldering handle. Comes with a nice silicone sort of cable. And a plug. The cable is nice and flexible. Normally you kind of get like the cheap plastic cables. This is like a really nice soft silicone cable. Um, the handle is made of a plastic. Mm, not too bad. Got some nice rubber grip right there. And a anti-stress thing, which is actually seems nice and soft too. So there's the handle. Nothing else in the bag. All right, now the included tip. Oh, looks like there's a slight tear. Don't know if that's on purpose or not. Um, the tip feels good. The thing with T12 soldering irons is that the, uh, the thermal uh, engineering of them is much better than the typical ones where you have the separate tip and you have to screw it on to like the... Uh, the ceramic heater. This is kind of all together and they're supposed to be much better to use. So you can get similar results to a really high-end soldering station that has a lot of wattage with a 60 watt one. So that's the included tip. I probably will do some stuff with it, but I really wanted to get this tip right here which I had to order separately. It's not that expensive. It was only three bucks though. So here's the separate tip that I ordered. And as you can see, this tip is much more desirable to use with soldering because it's got a, yeah, it's a good tip. So, um, I believe all of this, including some flux, which hasn't arrived yet, was about 70 bucks is really good if you ask me um just kind of like a press fit right there, thing like that so we get this is our solder cleaner right here it's like a springy sort of stuff this will help you clean off your soldering iron which is good because it'll keep your tips lasting a really long time okay so now I'm going to show you what I used to have to deal with. Okay, so before uh, buying this, this is what I have to use. Uh, it's this kind of like soldering station, uh, soldering so iron that I ordered on Amazon. The company is Seality. 
And it's one of those generic ones where it just kind of plugs directly into the wall. And it says it is an adjustable sort of temperature, but in order to actually get results, you have to turn it all the way up and then your tips start to burn out. So this is what I had to use with it before. And normally on any sort of soldering station, the type of the, the way that you change tips is that you have this sort of ceramic heater and you slide the tips on like this. And it works fine, but it doesn't have the best, you know, design. So no longer using this. This is actually pretty good for pretty cheap. And it came with a nice stand. It came with a soldering, desoldering pump thing, a lot of solder, soldering wick and some cheap tips that would burn up really quick, like this. That's no bueno. <laughs> so, yeah, can throw this away now. And this crap. Yeah, so this is the soldering station. Um, we're gonna get it plugged in. Actually, let's take a look inside first, cause you know, you always gotta see what's inside your stuff. Quality unit on metal construction. So let's see what's inside. Wow. That's like really good actually. So we have our switch and uh, power supply. The switch is wired right to the board, just like this. Nice. Nice switch right there. And we have our IAC connector, which has pegs that just go directly into the board. Very nice. Large capacitor, MOSFET, transformer, and your little battery to run this high-tech sort of display here. So overall, it looks really good. Quite good, in fact. And it's really tiny, so... I'm going to go put this back together, and we're going to actually power on, get started soldering. She doesn't love that, you know. So now let's plug it in, actually, first, and get my soldering station, soldering wand. And I'm gonna try out uh, the tip that I ordered separately first. And we're gonna get this plugged in. There's a little notch up there, so you can't really get this wrong. Feels really nice. All right. And now, going to need a separate cable but if you have any old computers you will have plenty of these lying around so I'm going to this here switch in the off position okay so let's make the switch see what happens All right, so it says error. We want it on 300 degrees, but uh, all right, let's figure this out. Hold, okay. Looks like it is in Chinese, which I cannot read. Okay, I can probably say that I figured out how to do this. So, I had to change the language from Chinese to English. So, the refresh rate's a little bit messed up. Um, but, what you do is you go down to menu item 20. You click the top option, which means confirm. And then you switch it to English. It'll do its reset thing, and then you'll be good. Okay, so as you can see, the soldering station is at 300 degrees Celsius, 
and it is about staying at that temperature pretty darn well. I know this is annoying you, so I'm just going to take that off for you. There you go. All right. So now let's try some of this solid. Appears to be pretty, pretty well. It really, it really bites into that solder really quick. So right here, I am desoldering a chip from this old uh, digital tuner sort of circuit board thing. Uh, the soldering iron, it, it does really well with this. On my old iron that just plugged right into the wall, I, my tip would stay on the board for ages, it seemed, before the solder would actually melt. So right here, it, it bites into that. I'm saying it again, it, it really bites into those pads pretty quickly, and it's so much easier to desolder things. Um, so here's another chip right here. Yeah, same thing. Uh, just add solder to the pegs to transfer the heat better, heat, it, heat the pegs up, and have pressure on the chip, and this will just slowly rock it away. Uh, I mean, I, I'm a very uh, beginner solder, so don't take anything I do as a how-to guide. It is just me playing around with the iron, and I really quite enjoy it. Uh, here I'm trying out the wood burning part. And it works pretty well. This is just some scrap wood, and I'm using the angled tip. Uh, overall, I really enjoy the soldering iron. The one catch is that uh, it's from China, so you're going to have to change the language from Chinese back to English, which is a little bit annoying, but um, it's a very minor thing to do. I was a bit confused when I first got it, so I actually had to go into Google Translate, and I had to uh, uh, painstakingly go through all the menu options until I found one that worked, so I've done that work for you, uh, you're welcome. Uh, so yeah, uh, that's just the one bad thing about it, everything else is, seems to be pretty good, I might upload another video in the future if something goes wrong, but it works pretty well for now. Okay, so one thing I think I forgot to mention is that I am not a good solder by any means. I just not am, I mean, I rarely ever use soldering. Actually, you see right there, the, the shake function works. That's pretty cool. So yeah, so I am not a good solderer by any by any means. Um, I know very basic things. Um, but the point I the reason why I got this is because I want to grow my soldering skills. And for something that's this cheap and has this functionality and that I will not be disappointed with. This is this is good. This is good for anybody. Like, if anybody wants to get into soldering, they don't want to spend a lot of money, you should get this. If you can afford it, you should get this because you will have, just by initial, you know, initial testings by me, I know that this is gonna last me a while and that I will have a lot of fun with it and that it will, It'll be a really good first soldering station, right? Um, so, yeah. Don't don't think that this is only for experts. This is for any, anybody. Even, even experts, this has the functionality that you would want on an expert sort of soldering station. It is so great that you can get into soldering with a really good soldering station for a cheap amount of money and be able to get a bunch of extras like lead or like... A tip cleaner like this you can I suggest you just go out there and get it um, yeah if you're if you're on the fence just if you can afford it and you're on the fence I, I would get it because uh, this will last you a while I plan on using this to get into RC and stuff that'll be a lot of fun might have videos on that in the future um, and I just wanted a soldering iron a soldering station that I can use for quick jobs around the house, all that kind of jazz. So this gets a thumbs up by me just because it's functionality, it is relatively cheap for what it does. Uh, yeah.